I wanted me to do a little video on how to clean the check valves in your water pumps on your jetters. It's really easy. It's a common thing and it doesn't require any major tools. And a lot of times guys are having these things fixed by shops or buying new valve kits and there's really nothing wrong. There's just something plugging them up. I'm talking about is these little check valves that are inside your pump. All right, let me change this around and we'll show you the pump. All right, here's Yvonne's post if you want to scroll down and find it. Basically, the problem is, is he's got his jetters pulsating, but he does not have his pulsator on. And that commonly, if there's not an obstruction in your strainer, there's not an obstruction in your, uh, in your water tank that's causing water to not get to the pump, that's the primary thing you should look for because that's disastrous. That's cavitation. Um, you don't have a suction leak where you're sucking air. Okay. Basically, one of the check valves in the pump is fouled on his machine, or was fouled, and that's what's causing the problem. So let's move on and look at the pump. Here we've got a classic triplex water pump, and these come from, of course, General Pump, Giant. We do lots of Udor. Um, Yvonne's is a Giant. Uh, there's Comet, AR. Here's a, one from a Cat Pump. Um, there's a stacked valve set. That's a little different animal. If you have any questions about stacked valve sets, good to send me a message or something. Um, send me a DM because uh, that's a little different animal. But you still basically need to just clear the valve. So here's what we're talking about. Again, here's your pump. And you have these hex that look like plugs. They're actually what we call valve covers. Each Underneath each one of these is a check valve. Okay, so let me resituate here and I'll show you how to clean these out. You see this one's got a pine needle in it. Pretty common for around here. Okay, again, here's a zoom in of the check valve. And if you can see close enough, see that pine needle sitting in there. So now the valve is not seating. It's not closing off. And this is what makes a pump pump. Every time your piston or plunger in the pump strokes, it needs to seal off the suction valve so it can push water out, push water toward the nozzle, and it needs to seal off the discharge valve on top so that it can not have that water come back into the pump and then it can bring more water in through this one, which is the suction valve. So they're always literally kind of stacked, okay? And water moves in steps. Every one of these pumps doesn't move water in a flow like a centrifugal pump. It's not consistent. It's literally stopping and starting the water with every stroke, okay? If one of these is stuck open like this one or one like this one is broken water will not move forward in your pump it'll the piston will go back and forth and the water will just go back and forth it won't get through a check valve so the water can move on and more water can come up through so this is really easy you just like i said take that hex cap off then you pull this out typically with like a long nose plier it has to pop off usually an o-ring right here that's holding it in and then once you get it out Typically just put a knife in here and separate this cage. And off it comes and there you see we got a valve seat and we got a valve disc and there was common around here, pine needle stuck in it. Take that out, pop it back together. And literally what we do is we stick this on our mouth and try to suck air through it. If it doesn't suck air through, it's good. It's really that simple. Now, what if you got a messed up valve? Here's a messed up valve, and this is a good comparison. You can look at this. The spring has gotten underneath the disc. This is really messed up. And that's not uncommon to see a broken spring. Um, a broken spring is an indication of cavitation. And I was talking about earlier how you don't want to let stuff get stuck in your tank that's blocking the, the line that sends water to the pump. You don't want to let your strainer get fouled. And, you know, check your strainer every day. At least check it every week. Um, it's the first thing you should check if you have this pulsation problem where it's pulsing but your pulsator is not on. Um, because cavitation is super destructive. It's when the pump is trying to suck water in but it can't because something is blocking the suction line. And the, the water in your pump momentarily goes to steam and then the piston goes forward and slams it back into water again. It's a massive shock. And that's what happened here. And this got really destroyed. Pretty common. So if you see one of these, don't just replace the valve. Go find where you've got a cavitation blockage or blockage causing cavitation. But let's take this one apart if I can without cutting myself. 
and you'll find this sucker is really messed up. This disc actually got destroyed. And this is all probably cavitation. Um, could have also, um, if you overheat your pump, like if you run it dry and you don't let it cool down before you put water in, a lot of guys do it. Running dry sometimes is not too big of a deal. It just burns the seals a little bit. And those are not expensive. But what we do wrong is we turn the cold water on right away and we send cold water to a super hot pump from running dry. Anyway, and that can shatter the ceramic plungers. And sometimes then those pieces that break off, the, plung the piston rod is still pushing and it hammers it up into the check valves and beats them up. But this is probably cavitation here. So that's where you'd obviously have to replace your entire valve assembly with a new valve kit which of course we have lots of and um, for just about every brand we've been doing these for 50 years so just want to cover that real quick it's so easy to do and again once you're done you would just set it back down in there pump make sure the o-ring's good and um, make sure the o-ring's good that you put when you put the cap back on the valve cover and you can be good to go uh, very commonly and a lot of times you can just do that in the field so you're not having to be down. All right, there you go. Hope that helps. Mm -hmm.